uh, there's no way that council um, can deliver on this. I've also said right from the beginning that um, I believe strongly that we need to make those investments in our infrastructure for the long-term health of the community. Um, you know, sitting in those particular positions, you need to make certain policy decisions. And certainly I think that that's uh, one that's very important that has to make. Um, so again, I congratulate council on their vision uh, the other night for infrastructure investment. Um, but I am completely perplexed when it comes to the enormous contradictions of it's all right to treat one corporation another way and another corporation another. Uh, for example, I mean, the city's been very successful and advocated around pay as you go, um, you know, paying down debts. Uh, Eddie's always talking about for the city to need reserves. The, the sewer surcharge has reserves. The Windsor Utilities Commission doesn't have reserves. The Windsor Utilities Commission is not paying down the debt. And the Windsor Utilities Commission isn't getting the investment necessary um, to ensure that we offset the type of cost um, into the future. Um, it's almost like, you know, going out and buying a car and saying, you know, I'm going to pay it off in eight years. I'll pay you the bill in eight years at a time when you need to go out and buy another car. Uh, it makes absolutely no sense. And, uh, and again, I can speak to this issue much more uh, fluently over a period of time because, like I said, this is a very complex issue. And again, just based on the fact that people didn't report on it, I really believe that people viewed a status quo um, sewer surcharge rate as the status quo. It's always gone through that way. So people in the community go, oh my God, our water rates are ridiculous. And sitting on the Windsor Utilities Commission, our water rates are average with the region, average with the province, um, and yet we're one of the biggest water users. It's our sewer surcharge that's so high that's flown under the radar screen. Not to say it's not important, but to beat the heck out of the Windsor Utilities Commission is completely misleading, false, political, um, you know, incredible. Like I said, city councilors sat before residents at public meetings where the residents said, this is what we want. They knew best. People couldn't afford it. After an election, now they can afford $3.85. It blows my mind. Is that an apple?